welcome back. I've missed you guys so, so much. I'm so glad I get to see you guys' beautiful, smiling faces. All month long, we've been learning about how God has a special plan for Joseph, and it's an amazing plan. And today, guess what? We get to hear the last part of his story of the special plan that God has for Joseph. And it's a true story because it comes straight from here, the Bible, and it's 100% true. So let's go ahead and find a very special spot in the room that you want to sit to watch today's Bible story. Friends, ready? Three, two, one, find it. Hey, hi. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Ready? And go. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Goldie and Barkley. We're celebrating Ice Cream Sunday month with a doggy Sunday party. I think they like them. <laughs> We're also celebrating because we have been learning about God's plan for Joseph, and today we get to hear the last part of his story, and it is awesome. Do you know who this is? Yep, it's Joseph. He always trusted in God's plan. And these are Joseph's 11 brothers who got super mad and jealous when their dad gave Joseph a special coat and didn't give them one. So they stole the coat, threw Joseph in a hole, and sent him with people who took him far away from home where he was thrown in jail. Then Joseph was taken out of jail, helped the Pharaoh learn about his dreams, and got put in charge of giving hungry people food. Wow, three cheers for God's plan. God's plan is awesome. Hip, hip. Hooray! Can you say that with me? Ready? Hip, hip, hooray! One more time. Hip, hip, hooray! No matter how hard it was, Joseph knew that God loved him, that God was always with him, and that he could trust God's plan. But that's not the end of the story. There is more to God's plan. Remember Joseph's brothers? Well, now, back at home, wait a minute. Stormy Jane, you're not a brother in this story. Get out of there, silly dog. That's better. Okay, so back at home, the brothers were super hungry and had no food. And guess where they had to go to get food? You got it. They had to go see Joseph because he was in charge of all the food. 
but they didn't know Joseph was in charge. Well, one day, Joseph was at the palace when his brothers came looking for food. Joseph was so surprised to see them. Show me your surprise face. <gasps> That's good. Joseph had a choice to make. Choice one, he could forgive his brothers and give them food to eat. Or choice two, he could just send them away hungry. What do you think God wanted Joseph to do? Choice one, you're right. That's exactly what Joseph did. Joseph forgave his brothers and gave them food to eat. He even gave them a hug and was happy to see them. It was the best ending to the story because Joseph followed God's plan. I love how Joseph followed God's plan. I want to follow God's plan, and you can too. God's plan is the best plan. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. Wow. Amazing! I love today's Bible story because not only did Joseph trust God no matter what, he knew that God had a special plan for him and that God was walking him through every step of the way and he was seeing him through it. And I love how Joseph not only trusted God, but he trusted God so much that guess what? In his heart, because he trusts God so much, he also forgave his brothers. And that's a big thing to do, guys, to forgive. And for him to do that, that's amazing. And he has such a big heart. And he welcomed his brothers because they didn't have any food. But Joseph planned because Joseph was trusting God this whole entire time. And friends, that's an amazing thing. I don't know about you guys, but that is something to celebrate. So let's give it a round of applause. Let me see you do it in a circle. <laughs> awesome job, friends. All right, we are going to say our memory verse, and it comes from Jeremiah 29, 11. I want you guys to say it with me. Here you go, ready? One, two, three. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Okay, I want us to whisper it this time. Do you guys think you can whisper it? Okay, I think we can too. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Awesome job, friends. Hands in the air and clap. Hold them for a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for having a special plan for Joseph. Thank you for having a special plan for my mom, my dad, my, me, my brothers, my sister, for everyone in the entire world. We love you and we thank you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, I want to leave you with a special challenge. I want you to find one friend to share today's Bible story with and ask them this very special, important question. Who has a special plan for you? Can you guys show me? God has a special plan for you. And just like God has a special plan for you, does he have a special plan for your friend? Yes. Does he have a special plan for your mom? Yes. Does he have a special plan for your dad? Yes. Does he have a special plan for your brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles? Yes, he has a special plan for everyone. Okay, on the count of three, I'm going to ask you, who has a special plan for you? And I want you to say, God has a special plan for me. And then do your arms like this for everyone. Ready? One, two, three. Who has a special plan for you? God has a special plan for you and for everyone. That's right, friends. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Just know that I'm always thinking of you guys. I'm loving on you and I'm praying for you. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye, my kinder friend. Mwah.